Ah, we have a question from Daniel. It's a good question, and it's a great name. What type of warm-up would you recommend before and during a powerlifting meet competition? And how how to stay focused and engaged between your attempts, both body and mind? Well, okay, so Daniel, I'm a big believer that warm-ups are important. Um, in fact, uh, Mike and Minnie Pakowski quoted me. I call that rule number eight. It doesn't matter. I don't want to hear your excuses. Uh, Pete George, a great Olympic lifter, only took 135 pounds, 60 kilos. That's all he did. And then he'd go to the platform and start with, you know, 120, 130 kilos, 60 to 120. I mean, big jumps. Um, I've been to meets where people have 10 or 13 lifts planned. I, I just think that's way too many. Um, some of the best performances in my life were something bad happened. And I didn't get a chance to get my perfect warm-up in but when it was time to compete. I nailed it. So I would say uh, you might want to talk to somebody smarter than me, and that person would be Marty Gallagher. Um, one thing Marty does is he constantly focuses in the build-up to, with perfect reps in every rep uh, on the way to that 12-week cycle upwards. I think if you take care of business beforehand, the 12 weeks, a 16-week peak, you don't have to worry about the warm-ups as much. Uh, and how do I stay focused and properly engaged? Now, I'm an Olympic lifter, not a power lifter, so our, our arousal levels are different. But the best thing I've ever done is I, uh, it's, I think the book is called Bobby Fisher Teaches Chess. And he has these one-page problems. And the, the question is, do you have enough pieces to check them? And then you look, and then you turn the page, and you say yes or no. And then he shows you. And I found that to be perfect because it pulls my brain away from the competition. I can be sitting in the stands completely engaged in a chess problem. Um, now you say, well, why? Well, don't forget, I'm relying on the weeks, the months, the years of preparation. And mostly my, <laughs> my monkey brain gets in the way at this time. So um, <laughs> that's how I do it. Uh, Daniel, this isn't powerlifting. Isn't my area of expertise. Um, um, I would say mostly. You, and the other thing you have to really prepare for, you know, at my powerlifting meet, I waited at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning, and deadlifted at 3 a.m. on Sunday morning. Uh, there is no way to prepare for that, uh, except for sitting around for almost 24 hours in your gym lifting. Uh, so. I like to be prepared for everything and let nothing bother me, nothing. And I do that by having, well, first off, you take care of business when you need to take care of business. You send the, you join the, the you get your, you join the organization, you send your check in the mail. Uh, you, sh you, you get a checklist for all your equipment, all your ideas, write everything down, write everything down. Uh, two, three days ahead of the competition, you pull everything out and you, Double check your checklist. Um, for me, I think preparation is always far more important than what the exact warm up is. I hope that.